dun 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 <sighs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is West and how are you guys doing today? Guys, we have been trying to clean up the shop. We've been working on a couple different projects besides for the red truck. And do you guys ever clean your garage and it turn up worse than when you started? Because that seems to be what happened here. Because like, how could I get so much junk? Anyway, it's not about the garage today. It is about one very big, very blue, and very shiny, come on camera, Peterbilt. So guys, I know you've been waiting for it. You probably thought I forgot about it, and no, I did not forget about it, but I kind of just didn't want to jump around on videos. I wanted to get the red truck finished up mostly until we got back on this, and that way we didn't have blue truck, red truck, blue truck, red truck. You know, I didn't want to confuse you guys. We had a little bit of free time here. We are waiting on some parts for the red truck to come in for the grill surround and a couple things like that. You know what I figured? This is the perfect time to start throwing some shiny chrome parts at this big, beautiful Peterbilt. That's a hell of a tongue twister, you know, a big, beautiful Peterbilt. Let's grab some stacks, grab some boxes, grab a whole bunch of shiny chrome stuff and start throwing it on. I'm so excited, let's do it. Here is where we figure out how good I am. Can I carry a camera and a 12 foot stack at the same time? Maybe, possibly. I just knocked over something. Nope, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, here, take that. There we go. Woo! Jack's in the back. Doo -doo -doo. Ha ha ha! I've got a big vice now! Mine's bigger. You wanna have a sword fight? Mine's bigger. Wanna bet? The extra boxes. Now that is the air cleaner that came off of this side. We got the stack that came off this side out here. And we got a couple extra things. I went ahead and ordered some, uh, oh, come on. Some new bushings for the exhaust. Set that down there where we will expertly catalog it on the ground. And look at this, look at this. It's in here in a million pieces, but there is a mirror for the driver's side. This is actually the first time I've ever looked at it, but it looks pretty good. And uh, underneath there in that box is another air cleaner. Now over here, we've got our lights and stuff that we pulled off that goes behind our air cleaner. We got a couple air bags down there, just some pack our parts and then Underneath all that, we've got another stack. So I think we need to go ahead and open this and make sure that stack there matches that stack over there. Let's find a knife. Are you are you boys ready? Bump, 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 bump. I don't know about that. And look, it's an airplane. I'll see on it. I couldn't find one of them either. I did this one that way. We're flying down the highway. See, we're flying like a white swan. Let's go ahead and open this stack and see. Our, back, our box has already kind of tore up a little bit, but it's a, the big hope is it's the same stack. Come on. We have storm yeah. color so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's send it back. Oh. Well, she don't have no brush. <laughs> I've got the biggest pipe you've ever seen! <laughs> you touch it. Well, inside don't look that shiny. I think they put a lot of tape on it. This here is our new stack and this here's our old stack. Look at this, this thing is shiny as hell. Now the problem we are having about this is both of these stacks are exactly the same length. They're set end to end right down there. But if you can tell, this stack here kind of goes down and then turns. That stack there, Kind of goes down and then it turns. They both turn out, they're bull hauler stacks, but this one here has a more of a gradual turn than this one here that we bought. Not the end of the world because a full set of stacks for this truck was about $2,500. I bought this bull hauler stack for like 350 bucks. So what I think I can do is just go back over and buy another one of these $350 bull hauler stacks and put it on the other side and then we'll have a matching set of stacks. What that's going to mean is the stacks that was on the truck, we're not going to either. We're not going to use either one of them. We're not going to use this stack or that stack over there. Obviously, we're just going to put new stacks on it. Time to reinstall the mirror. Ah, if we can figure out how to put it together. Now this mirror, they took it apart to ship it. Now here's the wonderful part: is we got to figure out how to put it back together. So I think that. What about all this wiring stuff here? Well. Well guys, I don't know how to put this thing together, but you know what? We're gonna figure it out. I think we take this off first. I'm trying to put this mirror together and 
we do not have a bar that comes down here and a bar that connects from there to there. It's kind of hard to explain because this thing comes in about three million different pieces, but I don't think, yeah, I'm gonna have to order another one. This is not gonna work. It's missing two of the bars and it's bent. These guys said it was, in, well, guess that's a problem you get sometimes when you buy stuff used is sometimes they don't send you all the parts and when they do, sometimes they're bent because as you can see, that's pretty, that's straight. Oh, and it's cracked too. That bar you might right not there, see, you can probably straighten that. I can straighten that bar if we had the other two pieces, but. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to wait another day for a mirror, but that's all right. We don't need to see who's behind us anyway. Let's go ahead and move on to the stack and start putting that on and the air cleaners. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove our very professional. Damn it, no, that's actually in there a lot better than I thought. Dog bowl to keep stuff out of our air cleaner. And we're gonna loosen these bolts up on this bracket, which the reason why we need to do that is because we gotta put these lights back on and they tuck in behind the bolts. Now this is the light for the back. The air cleaner. Yep. Mm -hmm. There they are. You wanna hold that? <laughs> Clean air. You never really notice unless you're actually messing around with an air cleaner. But look how massive these damn air cleaners are on this truck. Like, that's my head. Oh, this is going to be fun. Not really. So, guys, we went ahead and got the air cleaner put on the truck. We got the uh, lights put on the back. They're all hooked up. And we got the lights put on the front, and they're all hooked up. And look at that. This thing needs a little bit of polishing done to it, but we can do that pretty easy. So we got the two band clamps and then the hose clamp back here done. He is taking, but look at this. The door, the air cleaner's on it and we can still open the door all the way. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, you got the bracket off the old stack? Mm -hmm. All right, that means we need to throw the bracket on the new stack. Ooh boy, look at it. I know they're made in Canada. You can still smell the maple syrup and the mousses. Where did you get it? Um, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling the urge to say, "Hey, where did you get that clamp off, eh?" Yeah, bud. Okay, we we're gonna send her all the way now, bud. Bring her out! Bring her out! Weston, it's stack time. It is stack time, not snack time. Stack time. I'm fat. I like snacks. I like snacks too. Yeah, we got that clamp on there, right? All right, let's uh. Hold on. Wait a second. There's a problem here, Wes. Yeah, that there is a lot dirtier than no. this part. There we go. There. Well, it went on the other side, all right? Did we dent it? Yeah, it cleaned it out some more. It went down about two inches. It's stopping right there. It's stopping. Hey. Come on. Oh. There we go. Yeah. All right. So basically the issue we're having is this stack here is just a little bit too long. And what I mean by that is there's a, come on camera, focus. See how bottlenecks down there won't let me slide this elbow up to the perfect amount. That way I can slide it down and put this hanger around the stack and on this clamp. So what we're going to do is we need to take about two inches off of this elbow. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this elbow off the flex pipe, take it inside onto the chop saw and cut about two, three inches off of it. Come back up, try to fit it again and see how it works. Sounds good guys, let's do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah baby. Oh, come on, come on, get out of there. You know you wanna leave. You don't wanna be in that dirty pipe no more. Oh God, I think it fell apart. <laughs> No, no, that, that's just seal tape. We're good. We're good. All right, let's go cut some of this off. I'm knocking over all kinds of stuff. You're pulling a china cabinet. Ugh. I'm running over all kinds of junk, too. I was almost perfect on my just about right measurement. Well, let's go from almost to perfect. How about that? Fine, fine. Okay, we're, we're at perfect. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready.
Don't just hate it when your tool's too small. I don't have that problem. Oh. What? What? Question. There's no cutting happening yet. No, I gotta get this recenter. Oh. This is what makes it look like a professional. Professionally cataloged. There we go. All right, let's go try to put this back on. I didn't cut that off the wrong side, did I? No, I cut it off the right side. Okay. Woo, that's hot. Who would have thought? Is it warm? It's warm. Oh, it's an exhaust. It's supposed to do something. Oh, exhaust. There's already a shit ton of fingerprints all over this thing. Oh. Straight. <laughs> it's an air scoop now, damn it! You ever seen an here? Let's let's go. Kind of there we go. There, there. That was good. You want them in a 45 or straight back? They're supposed to be to an angle. Well, our battery died on our camera. Ain't that always a pain when it happens? It ha it's a pain when it happens to the truck. It's a pain when it happens on your phone. Nobody likes dead batteries, but. We got the camera battery switched out and we are back to recording on the Peterbilt. Let me show you guys what we did. Whew! Look at that. That was like one of them cool transitions, but I just shook the camera back and forth. So yeah, that we had were kind of scraped up. So uh, we got the driver's side of this truck pretty much put together. We still got to get the mirror, obviously. We still got to get uh, a couple emblems for the side, a headlight. We got a bunch of parts ordered for this truck, but they just have not made it here yet. And I've been waiting on them for a while, but most of them say they're supposed to get here this week. So we'll see. About time to wrap this video up. It's getting dark and uh, we don't got no more parts to do anything. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. That tells YouTube that we're good fellers and other people ought to watch us. And if you haven't already, make sure you go over there to Instagram, Weston GW on Instagram and follow us. You know, I post stories and pictures of whatever we're doing most of the time. So the content follows over there. I will see you guys next time.